the favorite part about Mercedes Benz for you uh, from the first day? Like, facility wise, food wise, all that? Well, you know what? He was talking about it the, earlier today, man. He said he, when he flew in, I mean, it was amazing just to see it from the, from the plane. So go ahead and talk about it. Yeah, just, just from the aerial view, like, it's definitely a sight to see. So, I mean, I, I got like goosebumps on the plane, like, coming in. So, uh, and not to mention the food prices, very reasonable. Recommend it to everyone. So, you know, you got $2 hot dogs out here. It's a great place. Not to market for Mercedes Benz, but it's a good atmosphere. Yeah, yeah. I was satisfied. Uh, I mean, the beer's cheap, which is always good. Um, it's just a great place to be. I mean, when you're sitting in there, you're like, wow, we are in probably the most state of the art facility in the United States, which is super cool. It's just a cool feeling. Crowd was electric. It's just a great time. I mean, do we, uh, do we think the, because uh, you guys were in the supporter section, right? And so, outside of the supporter section, we could feel that it was a little dampened, but you could feel the echo. Yeah, yeah. All right? Uh, so, you know, is it... Actually, we did. Right, yeah. And so, can, like, can we make it as much of a fortress as uh, we want it to be? I mean, Bobby Dodd was really good to us. And I, absolutely, I had so many doubts about Bobby Dodd. But once we got in there, it really felt like home. And I'm not saying that this place um, won't compare to it. It's just, um, I mean, it may take a little bit. It may, I mean, uh, Orlando's going to Orlando's gonna be a great test because, as you said, I mean, we're, we're going to have the whole stadium filled. It's going to be, and Orlando's our biggest rival. It's just going to be a different type of feel. Like, as we said the last time, it's going to be that derby day, like that that feeling. And that's really going to where, where we're going to see how, how Mercedes-Benz is going to be, I really feel like. The roof's supposed to be open too, isn't it? Didn't they, didn't they say that was one of the matches that the roof's supposed to be open for? Um, I mean, not to say, not to hurt Bobby Dodd or anything, you know, I, Bobby Dodd will always be home. Um, but, you know, when you look at it, it's like you said, world-class facility. Uh, you know, it can give us more options than Bobby Dodd would. Obviously, there's some stuff to miss about Bobby Dodd, but I look forward to having an open match, a uh, little open roof on there, and just to see how that, that'll feel on there. Maybe. I feel like once we hear the noise in there with the roof open, that'll probably get us a little, a little more excited about it. So, uh, final thoughts on the whole game? Uh, I got a final thought. Uh, officiating. Yep. Officiating. Nobody, we've talked about it week in, week out. Nobody is going to take this league seriously until there's a drastic, drastic change and upgrade in the officiating. I was really disappointed early on. You know, I, we were a little confused as to why it was, the why the why the first pen was pulled yeah. back. Uh, VAR, VAR yeah. did have a little assist. Okay, all right, but I mean, I, me personally, I, I just think officiating needs to be upgraded. And uh, walks, walks is man, walks is on my, he's on my list, man. He, I, every game, I, I always, I always have a headache with walks, man. Uh, what is I mean, it defensively or is it offensively, right? <laughs> You know, I feel like we expect too much. Like, you know, we watch, we, we, yeah, we, we expect way too much offensively. But at the same time, like, if you have somebody like Mears being able to come off and provide something, then I feel like if you're starting, you should be able to come up and show that you have something like that as well, even though Tata probably put him in there for, you know, defensive reasons. But I just feel like he needs to improve, man. I really do. Uh, oh, uh, three points. That's all I wanted today. I don't care if it was 1 0, 4 3, 3 0. We got the three points. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Sure. We just gotta look towards the next game, put our best 11 out there, and just go for it. I mean, nine points, that's what I want at the end of this week, nine points. Yeah. And I mean, what seven. Do you, what do you want at the end of this week? I want nine points. I, I want nine points because I really do believe we should we should host a home game here for the playoffs. Like, yeah. we, I mean, we yeah. or we should be a top seed. That's yeah. what I mean. Absolutely. And right. I, anything else I think is a failure, and I'm. I, we should get nine points, man. I think we should get nine points. I mean, I'm high expectations. Ooh. Very high expectations, but I know this club. I know the, I know the guys that are out there. Like they, we have the talent to be to win this league, no doubt, absolutely no doubt. We do. I mean, uh, yeah, definitely a three-zero win. Uh, it, the crowd was electric, bro. It was electric. You know, we got with seventy thousand capacity. It was incredible. You know, a great game to come back on. So. I'm, I'm excited to be back here for a week, and I'm going to enjoy the game on Wednesday because I'm sure we're going to pick up that dub. So, here we go.